Okay, so this is um, a video for advanced snake arms or snake arms with shoulder rolls. Um, so far we're doing snake arms just involving the arms, which is complicated enough. But if you add a shoulder, it really gives it um, an extra dimension. So what our shoulders are doing here is just shoulder rolls. We're just literally going shoulder rolls back to front. So if I think it will go forward, up, backwards, down, forwards, up, backwards, down, forwards, up, backwards, down, forwards, up, backwards, down. So if we did it together, both arms together, we'd have this shrugging. So we go front, up, back, down, but we're doing them um, alternate. So while one's back and down, the other comes front and up. I mean, mo most people can do this this move. It's a, a move you see often. Okay, but really think about what what your body's doing here. This one's coming front and up, and this one's going back and down, and then this one is going back and down. Why this one is going front and up. Okay. If you put your arms out to your 45 degree, now you'll remember when we first started doing arms, I just said to you, roll your shoulders back. Because just by the way that the body naturally moves, it looks a little bit like snake arms already. Because the body actually wants to um, be soft with the wrists and the elbows. So let's have a look at how it ties into snake arms. As we're coming forward, our elbow automatically wants to come up. As we roll back, our elbow automatically wants to come down. So shoulder forward and elbow up, shoulder backwards, elbow comes down. Now there's a slight delay. It isn't, it's shoulder, elbow, shoulder, Elbow, shoulder, elbow, shoulder, elbow, shoulder, elbow, shoulder, elbow. Do dum, do dum, do dum, do dum. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so let's try that on the other side and think about what's happening here. So we shoulder, elbow, back and drop. Front, elbow up, back, elbow drop. Front, elbow up, back, elbow drop. Front, elbow up, back, elbow drop. Now let's try adding in snake arms. So as you know in snake arms we go elbow, wrist, elbow, wrist. So what we're going to be doing now is shoulder, elbow, wrist, caterpillar hand. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, caterpillar hand. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, shoulder, elbow, wrist, caterpillar hand. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, shoulder, elbow, wrist. As always, hand stays down, fingertips are held in the same position. So let's try it all together. You roll and up, roll and down, roll up, roll down, roll up, roll down. And you can see it. What it does is it makes, we call it in dancing, it makes it juicier. Gooier is another word. Back, elbow, wrist, roll, elbow, wrist, back, elbow, wrist, smooth it out. Forward up, backwards down, forward up, backwards down, forward up, backwards down. Let's do it together. So we just start roll, back, 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 bring your elbows in, back, 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 now. Go full snake up. Now, hopefully, you, the reason I teach snake arms without shoulders, first of all, is because you should already automatically be wanting to go into snake arms. So, if you're having problems going into snake arms, I suggest you go and look at my video on snake arms without shoulders 
first and then once you can do those come back here and I am now concentrating really only on my shoulders because my muscle memory already knows what to do when my elbows come up. 